Hello there and a very, very good evening. My name's Sean Ryan. It is Tuesday, 8 o'clock, and that, of course, means the Planet Cruise TV show. I always look forward to the show. I've been presenting it for over 10 years, and I've been very lucky to do a lot of cruises in that time. Now, tonight, we have got a lot of cruises to choose from. I believe... There are 10. Is that right, Glenn? Have we got 10 cruises? We, we 10? Just, it's a two-hour show, isn't it? No, it's not, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to get our teeth in. Get, get it going quickly. Yeah, yeah. we are. They, they try and put more in every week, but yeah, we'll get through it. We'll yeah, we've right. got six main deals and then, then, and then four, four little, little ones, ones we, yeah, Exactly, yeah. So. Um, now, I, I'm, I'm a bit skint at the moment, but I gather one of them has got a very small deposit, hasn't it? One pound, yeah, one pound per person, which is always good. Which I is think nice. I can manage Well, we that. started doing them a little while ago and they just absolutely went crazy, so we've got one deal yeah. that's got a pound. And, and I'll tell you what I'm really excited about. Um, I discovered last year Azamara Cruises, many of you know, I had the most amazing time and Lee from Azamara is with us today. He is. And yep. honestly if you haven't discovered Azamara, uh, five star boutique luxury cruises. Beautiful ships. And they are honestly amazing it's been so do stay tuned for that. What else have we got coming up there? We've got something really different as well for people that have never been to Egypt before. Oh, now yes. I think Egypt sometimes not everyone's cup of tea. Some people love it, some people don't fancy it but we've got a trip to Egypt which is going to do seven day stay and then seven day cruise taking you to all the sites. That's something a little bit different. And, and we're who's also, that with Glenn? That's going to be with Saga. Oh, Saga brilliant. River. So that's really really good. We've got some P&O, Royal Caribbean, a bit of MSC and some Costa as well. So yeah. all different ones. Yeah we certainly have and some amazing experience exclusive offers and deals as well. Uh, now, Glenn, I gather you've got a few people to say hello we to. We have, yeah. I always like giving a shout-out to a couple of people. So, first of all, I want to say hello to uh, John and Sandy Turner. They booked their Princess Cruise with me last week, so I said I'd say hello to them. They always watch the show. And also, we had a bit of a problem last week. We had the Celestial deal on, yeah. which sold really, really well. But Francis and her two lady friends are going on there. They've got three single cabins. They've booked on them. They're called the Golden Girls. They said they're going to cause trouble when they get on there, so I've told them to behave, especially with the all-inclusive. But I did say hello to Francis and the girls. They're actually based down in Portsmouth, just near where oh, we are brilliant. as well. So I said big shout-out to the girls and have a great holiday um, in October. Um, and Bob, if you don't know, Glenn, he does work for Planet Cruise. been I in the industry many, many years. <laughs> yes. So between us, you are in a good... Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, good, safe <laughs> pa pair of hands. Now, we've got... Oh, we've got competition as well, haven't we? We have got competition as well. Yeah, we've got competition as well. You can actually win... Is, this is by Uniworld, one of the River Cruise companies. Very, very, very popular. And this is to win a seven-night cruise with the, new, with the uh, River View cabin, courtesy of uh, Uniworld. And this is on one of their new ships. Now, if you want to enter this, all you need to do is go onto our website, which you can see here. Oh, it's right on our homepage. Click on that and then enter. Very, very simple to do. Put all your details in there. You've got a chance of winning that seven-day cruise. Again, that's the website there. Very, very easy to manoeuvre. So we're going through the deals today. It's always worth going on the website. I checked it yesterday. We've got 18,500 cruises on there. So try and narrow it down a little bit. But that's a great tool wow. if you want to start narrowing down the cruise. But if you want to try and win a river cruise, never done it before, try it with Uniworld. Well, we, we better crack on. So we have got 10 cruises. It's a busy cruises. one. Uh, it is going to be a busy <laughs> one. And we're going to start off with a great... Uh, cruise with Pina on board the gorgeous Britannia and she's a stunning ship we've both been on board yeah. um, and we've got an amazing price on this one starting at under £600 and that's for the 20th of May so that's only a few weeks time really isn't yeah, it? Yeah but also when they look at the grid as well actually we've got one for next May as well so if you're already booked up for this year we've also got it covered right. for 19 and again if you are looking at doing it in the future we've still got that £1 deposit on that as well. Brilliant well um Let's uh, give you a little taster of what life will be like on board with our fabulous Keith Maynard. Inspired by P&O Cruises' illustrious past, but designed very much for their fabulous future, this is the biggest cruise ship ever designed for the UK cruise market. Welcome to P&O's beautiful Britannia. One thing you will definitely notice on board Britannia is that there's an abundance of excellent deck space and oodles of sun loungers to help you worship. In fact, there are four main pools to choose from, including the adult-only Serenity Pool, a perfect place to escape to for some downtime while the kids are being looked after elsewhere. There's 13 different bars on board, four of which are out on deck, which means you can enjoy the sunshine or the stars as you sip your favourite tipple. The stylish new blue cocktail bar is the perfect place for a dirty martini, or there's Brodie's. I love that place, and that's where P&O Cruises have introduced the biggest selection of British beers at sea, with over 70 to choose from, representing 56 different UK counties. The food is headed up by P&O Cruises' iconic food heroes. You can enjoy the taste of India with the master of spice Atoll Kutcher's fabulous Sindhu restaurant, or savour mouth-watering gala dinner options and menus created by the godfather of UK cooking, Mr Marco Pierre White. 
if you really want to spoil yourself, you can also book Eric Lanlad's afternoon tea experience or head to his Market Cafe. It's a French style patisserie that features fine cheeses, antipasto, charcuterie, tapas and speciality breads. You can enjoy the live music, comedy, cabarets and game shows of the Live Lounge or sit back for West End style shows in this fabulous new theatre which features a stunning LED backdrop. Strictly fans also won't be disappointed with the elegant wooden floor Crystal Room. It's dedicated to dance and the perfect location to uh, rumba the night away. <laughs> P&O Cruises have really pushed the boat out when it comes to the accommodation. There's a sumptuous range of boutique offerings to choose from, including well thought out single cabins to these incredible suites designed by Richmond International that come with your own butler. And all the accommodation on board includes flat screen TVs, pamper packs from the White Company and bespoke artwork from British artists. Oh, that's our fabulous Keith there. Um, beautiful ship. Yeah. Britannia is very much the flagship, isn't she? Yeah, it's become the flagship now. It was launched in 2015 by the Queen. Obviously, a lot of pomp and ceremony about it. I was on there last year for my anniversary, and it is a beautiful ship. Very modern compared to even Ventura and Azura, yeah. which were the, the two ships before there. Um, again, they've done it very modern. They've got Sindhu on there. They've got beautiful restaurants on there. The setup's really nice. And as I said, if you want to go on the new ship, the price on this is exceptional. I know. It really, really, I mean, really under good. six hundred pounds. And again, this would be a good one for maybe people that haven't cruised before and really want to sort of try it. But don't yeah. want to break the bank and you're going on a great ship well and you go to some great places yes. as well so uh, let's have a little look so nice and easy from southampton so if you don't like flying you know if you're um scared of flying if you just make it easy and also, also of course you can take as much luggage as you like of course you can and again we also mentioned about the holiday in winchester 95 yes. pounds per person for the pre-night stay you get one night bed and breakfast you get your port transfers as well and you park leave it. your car there for you so it's really really good value and it's a nice way to start the holiday but this one's going to go straight into a port of call we're going straight into st peter port which is guernsey now i can guarantee even though the Channel Islands are just off the coastline, I bet many, many people haven't been here before. Again, normally a tender port that we go into here, but a, a stunning destination. Home of the rich and famous, that's where a lot of the, uh, the Formula One drivers live, and you, you've got to have a few quids live out there. Because their property is expensive. Oh, yeah. I, had a, I had a look when I was there. I well, yeah. actually, you pay more if you're not a resident. Yes, I know. And there's two different yeah, types two of prices, different. so yeah, again, it's very, very different. But when you're there, you've got Castle Cornet, you've got Fort Grey, you've got the little chapel to go and visit. I would normally do a tour there in the morning. You've also got the, uh, the forts, because obviously it was in by the Germans in the war so it's a very interesting place to go and see but I like to spend the afternoon just walking along the cut on the on the front there sitting there having a beer just watching the people it's, it's a lovely place to start your cruise then we have a day at sea which I think when you when you're joining these ships it's nice to have a day at sea and you know you're heading down into Spain so the weather's gonna get better and better as well take in the views relax sunbathe and just uh, lap up the ship on there from there we go down into La Coruna now La Coruna itself is nice to wander around but I would recommend a trip possibly out to Santiago de Compostela which is the UNESCO World Heritage Site um, and it's beautiful 12th century Gothic style cathedral and that is really worth a visit and again a lot of people do that in the morning and then just come back into La Coruna in the afternoon bit of tapas glass of sangria and just taking the views then we go down into Santander now people think this is the old Abbey National it's not there is a place <laughs> called Santander on there and again you have here the uh, Palace de Magdalena you've got the cathedral but again you can see the, the images there you've got the old style um, the buildings just to wander around stunning coastline as you sail in and again just a nice gentle port of call you don't need to do a lot there just go off and wander around and take in the sights down into La Rochelle into France and again so you're seeing uh, France Spain and the Channel Islands on this particular cruise and down there you've this is becoming quite a popular destination a little marina area which is nice to wander around you've got the aquarium you've got the archaeological sites and the museums but a nice opportunity just to walk around past the uh, the main fort area there along the uh, the promenade and just again taking some views a bit of people watching so all the ports of call they're going to on here aren't massive ports of call so you can relax and take it easy and just enjoy the yeah. ports of call that you go to always nice relaxing chill out there at sea before heading back into southampton on uh, so it is a, a last minute deal on that 20th of may day under 600 pounds i think it's phenomenal value on this beautiful ship let's just have a little look at her one final time and she, I mean, I, you know, say, Glenn Nine One bought her last year. She is it's so amazing. modern. As I said, if you've been on some of the the older P&O ships, again, they have a classical feel. This is ultra modern. As you can see there, the pictures. They've got the cookery club on oh, there, no, which yeah, is quite good. Yeah, they yeah. sometimes have Mary Berry come on and things like that on the cookery glasses. But you can do the cookery there as well. The atrium is very stunning. It's very striking, but it's just very modern, cutting edge, and the shows are very good. Being a British cruise line as well, the entertainment's geared towards the Brits, which is quite yeah. Good.
Um, and you still get your tea and coffee in your room? Still get your tea and coffee. Yeah. Oh, you can't have a British cruise without tea and coffee. No, in your room. I need a coffee to get me going on the line. I need about two. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I think that one is going to be really popular tonight. Let's just remind you what's included on this one from, of course, P and O. So it's a seven night cruise. Uh, it works out under £86 per person per night. Oh, I forgot to mention the balcony price is ridiculously low on this one. Um, you can actually upgrade from under eight pounds per person. And you're per gonna night. do that, aren't you? Let's be honest. Of course we, we basically the balcony price works out six four five, doesn't it, on yeah. that one? Amazing. Um, and as Glenn mentioned, if you uh, say you know, maybe you don't live near Southampton and you don't want the stress of travelling down on the day, then you can add a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from only ninety-five pounds per person, you're gonna get a great breakfast, you're gonna get free parking and of course your port transfers as well. And uh, I mentioned about the balcony, yeah, if you go for the 20th of May, 645 for that balcony. That is incredible, actually. And even if you go for the, um, the July date, the price is still only 769 If you're already booked up for this year, we have got the 25th of May for 2019. Uh, now... Glenn, you all right? I've got the horn. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Tuesday night. By the way, Lee's joined us. He's up next, by the way, with Azazara. He uh, he's not got the horn. He's he's not got the horn. That was him. Uh, but we've got a brilliant deal here with the pound deposit, Glenn. We have. We love these pound deposits. So this one is, again, a Planet Cruise exclusive. This is a 12-night Canary Islands and Madeira cruise from Southampton. And this is for the 9th of December 2019. Not this year, next year. ID is 172679. So you pay a pound deposit now. Free on board spend or parking. It's a no fly cruise from Southampton. And just to let you know the price is for 12 nights from £655. So work wow. that out, that's about 55 quid a day. Down for, to Madeira, Santa Cruz de la Palma, Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Lisbon, Southampton. You know the weather's going to be good. Get away just before Christmas, yeah. back on the 21st. Make sure your presents are all ready to go. And then you come and actually have Christmas and, with a suntan. And a pound deposit per person. Now, um, I'm delighted to say that we have got Lee back from Azamara Cruises. I'm going to have to watch that I don't gush too much. But I, I, I basically had my first Azamara cruise last year. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I booked it, so many customers, when I was at cruise shows and things, yeah. those that had cruised with you just said the most incredible things. And I wanted to try. I tried last year. I've already yeah. I booked an, another cruise the moment I got back, which is in about eight weeks' time. But it was such a fantastic, incredible experience. It really was. And, uh, and different from other cruises that I'd done. Yeah, very different. I mean, the, the whole ethos of Azamara is all about the guests and, and where we can take them. And by uh, staying longer, port, longer yeah. in port and more overnight, so then our guests get more chance to go and see the actual places they want to visit rather than just a quick rushed port stop. Uh, and the ships, they are smaller, more intimate ships. They are. Uh, you class yourself as, well, five-star plus, Bo isn't boutique, it? Isn't boutique, is yeah. yeah. Yeah, boutique at sea, uh, hotel at sea. So small ship, 690 guests on each ship. Um, obviously, we've got the third ship, Pursuit, coming in the summer. Yes. Which is now currently in, in Belfast, in wet dock, being uh, refurbished. So we're, we're very much looking forward to that. Well, uh, we are going to talk more about the whole experience. Because honestly, it is amazing. There's so much to do. And it's, so much is included as well, all of your drinks and your tips. Yes. Um, yeah. The as a as, as an amazing, amazing evening, evening as well, yes. which was uh, which was amazing, and so yeah. much more. But before we get on the cruise, we actually have a wonderful time in Bali, don't we? We do. Now I know Bali really, really well. I'm, I've been fortunate enough to holiday there. My my last cruise contract, we stopped in Bali about six times, so I do know it very, very well. Now what I would suggest on here, we've got it going out here on the 19th of November. I'd move it back to the 18th of November, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But this one is going to start flying out from the UK, and again we can do flights from Manchester, Birmingham, because we'll probably use Emirates out to Bali on there for you. And again from there we're going to take you into it, the phenomenal place of Bali uh, in Indonesia. Now if you've not been there before, loads of stuff to do. You can go elephant trekking. They've got great beaches one of my favorite bars in the world there is a place called potato head google what? potato head google potato head barley on your images or computers you'll see what i mean now when you're there <laughs> it's so cheap to eat and drink out you only ever want to have better breakfast in the hotel because you want to get out and see the temples the buddhist you want to go out and explore the, the the city and five days on there is long enough to get out and see as much as you can popular resorts of kuta Seminyak are a little bit more lively that's where a lot of the australians actually holiday in Bali because it's only about four hours from Australia especially from the Perth side but again that's a bit more livelier but we tend to normally put our clients in either Kuta or Nusa Dua two nice resorts there but you've got five days to go and explore and if you've never done Bali before I haven't actually it is a place to go and see and as I said to you before it's so cheap to eat and drink out and experience yeah. it 
make sure you try and get there. And this is a lovely way to start a cruise and uh, your package here. Now, the reason I'm saying going out on the 18th rather than the 19th, we've given you five days on there. Included in this package price, we've given you one overnight in Singapore. Now, what I would recommend is that move it all back one day and give yourself two days in Singapore, a minimum. There's so much to see in Singapore. You've got Gardens by the Bay, you've got Raffles, you've got the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, which is the new one with the Infinity Pool on the top. Go over to Sentosa Island. If you do three, four days in Singapore, you still won't have enough time, but please try and extend this by at least one day. That's the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. That's Gardens by the Bay, like Summit of Avatar. Give yourself time to see as much as you can in Singapore. Well, well that, that's not a bad start to the no. <laughs> that's, your, that's your first week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five nights in Bali, two nights in Singapore, or one night if you choose to go this. But then you've got 10 nights with Asmara. And, uh, you know, seriously, many of you know I've been on, I think, 27, 27 cruises. And I've been very lucky over the last 10 years. Um, but the Asmara experience was incredible. And I think any of you who's watching around, if you've already done maybe the five-star ships and the larger ships, if you're looking for a more boutique experience, slightly smaller ship, more intimate then definitely try Asamara. And the price that is amazing when you look at everything because so much yep. is included. That's right. The value proposition of Asamara is absolutely fantastic. If you think about all of your drinks, not just with your meals, that's 24-7, uh, all of your meals, all of your food, um, gratuities, everything's included. God, we're just looking now at the beautiful ships and they are yeah, beautiful. They are. Right? Ever since we did the, uh, the reimagine process in 2016, the scores of our guests on board uh, saying what a wonderful ship it is and how great it looks have just gone through the roof. So we're really pleased with it. Um, and I can honestly say every aspect, uh, you know, the attention to detail, the customer care. Mm -hmm. Everyone seems to know my yeah. name within, yeah. seriously. The crew, the the crew are day. absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And this is one of the things that we, we undersell on purpose is because then when our guests get on board, they're kind of wowed by the experience that they get. But like you say, everybody within 24 hours, they um, know your name. Now, we're just looking at the drinks as well. I was so impressed that like, there was a choice of, of wines every single yes. day. And they, they, they vary, didn't they? They do, yeah. So we have two whites, two reds, a, a rosé and a sparkling available every day. Uh, if you're not keen on... The, the the wine that we have on a Monday, for example, then you can go back to what you had on the Sunday, or you can, if you're lucky enough, your wine waiter will provide you what's on the Tuesday. You know, so there's a real variety. Yeah. I think as well, though, if you've only got 650 people on a ship, it does become more personal. It mm. does. If you've got 6,000 people on the ship, yeah. it's you know they're, they're, they're massive areas. And but on a boutique hotel, that's what you get in a boutique hotel. It yes. is more personal. And I yeah. loved. Um, the, 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 do you still do the white nights? We do. Yeah. Um, the white. T tell the viewers about. Yeah. We have so, the best time. Yeah. The white night party is really a celebration of the cruise. It's a celebration of Azamara. So, so on one of the evenings on board. Uh, the shipping on the voyage is that we'll just ask everybody to come dressed in white uh, when the weather's good enough which is we follow the sun so it invariably yeah. is uh, we just have an open deck party really where the captain and his crew will actually serve you a hot and cold barbecue buffet yeah and it was the most amazing buffet um, yeah. who's driving the ship <laughs> no, do you know what I've got to say? I, 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 the captain uh, Johannes on, on, on mm -hmm. my cruise I've never seen a captain mix and mingle yeah. so much with the guests, yes. and he's used so many yeah, people's names. Completely, it's completely. You know. And it's one of the one of the key selling points of Azamara is that it's so interpersonal on board. Yeah, yeah. And really it wasn't. Um, I hope you don't mind me saying this. It wasn't stuffy at all. It no. was really relaxed. Yeah, you know? very country club style yeah. atmosphere on board. Everybody gets uh, along. Everybody's very like minded. Yeah. 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 Um, I've been on some great cruises. I can honestly say, I, I, it, it was the best ever. And I, I booked another cruise the moment I came back. It was incredible. So. We'd love you to try us out, and you're going to get to see, get to see some amazing places as well. Should we talk through? Yeah, let's have a yeah. look. So this is a nice one. So basically, you're going to you're, you're going to join obviously in Singapore, um, and that's when you're going to start your cruise. Always nice, as I said before, that chill out day. So you think sailing down from Singapore, um, heading over to Koh Samui, you're going to have a day at sea to relax, and then you go into the beautiful Koh Samui. Now, again, I've been fortunate enough to holiday there before. This is great. You've got your temples, you've got plenty of sites to go and see. But if you're a beach lover, they've got some of the best beaches in the world over there. <laughs> Yeah, and again, you just relax, snorkeling, swimming, uh, boat trips all through the islands. Koh Samui is a paradise over there. And Have as you I been said, here, Lee? Well. No, I've personally not been to Koh Samui, no. And it's again, one the, of the, other, the other good like... thing with this, again, when you're eating and drinking off there as well, still, again, so cheap to eat and drink, so yeah. you go off there, relax. Yeah. And then you know you're coming back to a, a boutique hotel for the, for the evening. Uh, now, you've got something very important to say about our next port, haven't yeah. you? So we're going then into Bangkok. Now, normally, you dock in a place called Lam Shabang, which yeah. is about two, two and a half hours on a good day with traffic. 
the, where are we docking here? Well, we're docking, uh, docking in a place called uh, Klong Tui, which is about 25 minutes transfer time into the city centre of Bangkok. So you're that close. Another selling point of Azamara is that we get closer to the action. Um, and, and your transfers are, are free as well, aren't we, they? Yes, we have complimentary shuttle services between the ship and the nearest port community or town or city. So it's all included. So you can get into the heart of Bangkok, go to the red light district, go to one of the palaces, go and try some of the street food, yep. authentic Thai food in Bangkok city centre. The it's thing fantastic. is, I think when you do two days there, that's great in Bangkok, but when it's a two and a half hour transfer each yeah. way, unless you're staying overnight um, there, people sometimes go, oh, I can't be bothered. Yeah. When you dock right there as well, yeah. it, it's going to make such a big difference. Absolutely. And you're there three days, really, aren't you? Two Absolutely, overnights. yeah. And, and because we arrive early in the morning and we leave kind of like late in the evening, you get three full days. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that makes such a huge difference. I, I've been on, on a cruise before and it literally by the time yeah. everyone got to Bangkok, they had to get back, you yeah, know. It's so. crazy. Being so much closer makes such a huge difference. And that's because of the size of the ship, of course. Exactly, yeah. Uh, where's next then, guys? Then we've got another chill-out day, and then we go into Ho Chi Minh. And again, you've got an overnight in here. Now, again, this one's a little bit different. Where are we cruising on this one? So in, in, into Ho Chi Minh City itself. So we're actually sailing up the Saigon River. Wow. Into what we would have known as Saigon, yeah, which is now Ho Chi Minh City. So whilst you're cruising in, and actually Captain Carl, on, on one of our new vessel uh, pursuit at the moment, he calls it the Saigon Slalom because it's such a windy river and you get right in and the ship's small enough, like you say, to dock in the city. Um, as you're going up the river, you're seeing all of the French colonial uh, architecture, all of the little villages, the rice fields, the paddy fields, so real great scenery as you're cruising into a what well, so now, different. cosmopolitan that is so city. That yeah, is so isn't it? Yeah. And again, when you're there, you can go to Kuchi Tunnels, you can do the Independence um, Square, you can go to Rem yep. um, Remnants. Again, we talk about Vietnam quite a lot on a lot of our packages. Again, go and see the history. But the good thing with that one is normally you're there one day. You've got overnight here, so you've got two days. So maybe do Kuchi Tunnels the first day, and then we'll spend more time in the city. So overnight there as well, go out for yep. dinner. You know, people always say, well, we paid for food on board the ship. But you're in this part of the world, and as I said, it's not expensive to eat and drink. Go off for the night, you know what I mean? It's, the ship's going to be there when you come back, but go off and experience it, and that's what you travel for. Um, and then final day at sea, make the most of that beautiful ship yep. and then back to That's Singapore it. where you disembark your transfer and uh, flown over to of course London. Can, shall we have a look, quick look at the ship one final time because your ships are absolutely stunning. I love all the intimate smaller areas. Yep. They, uh, there's a, yeah, a big choice though, isn't there? Massive. I mean, when you talk about food on a small ship, we, we're talking we've got five or six different places that you can actually get something to yeah. eat. We've got you know, 12, 13 bars on board where you can drinks are included, obviously. Room service 24 hours a day. If you're in a suite, you can take afternoon tea on your balcony. You know, there's so much to do on board. Just because it's a small ship doesn't mean that you're going to get bored. And do you know what I was really impressed with? And I didn't expect it to be anywhere near as good as it was. The entertainment. It was mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah, of you course. Know. You know, with our cruise directors that we have, we have a specific specific cruise director for each ship. We also have lots of entertainment that we bring on board. Uh, we have small acts as well as singers. You know, there's something to do. There's over a hundred things to do every day on Asma. Um, we are nearly out of time. I, sorry, I know, I could talk about this for hours, <laughs> but um, we would love you to book tonight and experience this. Let's just remind you what's included, because it's an awful lot with Azamara. Um, you are going to get those, uh, obviously those hotel stays, five nights in Bali and one night in Singapore. Glenn's advice, um, push it back night. a day and do two nights in Singapore. Yeah. But the, the, the uh, team can talk through all the options available. Um, you've got those great overnights on board. So you're really going to get to see and experience Bangkok at its best and Ho Chi Minh as well. Um, you can upgrade to the VIP package uh, and get business class flights and the chauffeur home pickup. Uh, just call for details. And it is a 10 night cruise with all of your drinks, a massive selection of drinks and all of your tips and return flights and you will get the as amazing evening as you well. will and the as amazing evening on this particular voyage is in ho chi minh city it's actually in bing koi village so it's a traditional uh, vietnamese folk dancing music food and drink um lee i'm getting told off so i'm gonna have to say that <laughs> but um say i am now a massive fan and i would love you to try as well um i've got thank eight you. weeks and three days till now, I think, but <laughs> thank you so much lee no um now uh, what's next? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, horn again. Yeah, that horn's going off again. Um, now, oh, this is Luxury Corner, isn't it? Luxury Corner. Yes, yeah, and it, it is another uh, cruise with Azamara. It's on board the Azamara Quest. The uh, departure date is the 3rd of August, and we've got prices starting as little as 1749. That includes uh, a one night hotel stay in Barcelona and an overnight in Ibiza as well. All your drinks and tips are included, and your return flights and private overseas transfers. 
Wow. So, um, now we are delighted tonight. We've got Costa back next, we? have we? Costa, yeah. We don't, we don't feature Costa very often, really, but this is a really, really nice one. This is a Baltics cruise. The price and what extras they're getting on this yeah. as well are phenomenal. You will not get a better deal for this time of the year. Well, you are getting uh, the fantastic Milton drinks package, which we will tell you about. But let's take you on board, Costa. Um, yeah, it's been a while since it's been on, haven't it? Yeah, I mean, Costa, I think a lot of the British clientele haven't cruised with Costa before. Um, but again, they're an Italian cruise line, so your, your general clientele on there is going to be European. Obviously, we feature P&O, which is mainly British. This is going to be more of a, a European feel. So again, your cuisine, the culture, the eating times, dining times, the way it functions on board is geared more towards the European market. Their ships are beautiful. If you've not seen the spa on board here, it's one of the best at sea. Yeah, really, really that. nice. And again, as I said, the staff will look after you. The ship's nice. And again, what's nice about this one, we're normally with the Baltics, you start from Southampton. This one's flying you directly out to Stockholm, straight into the Baltics. And then from there, obviously, you can go and experience some of these fantastic ports of call. But very, very modern ships lot going on entertainment good restaurants to uh, speciality restaurants and again service second and, to none. and we're going to include in the price a meal time drinks package so that's drinks with your lunch your dinner and up to 500 pounds yeah of pounds. One spend as well yeah, wow dep depending on the cabin you have obviously it starts being inside and moves up but again if you think about what's and look at the prices on there starting from 1099 for that time of year to go there 30 to June is the lead date. Nice yeah. time of that. Nice time of year. I think people think the Baltic is always going to be freezing cold, but it's not. It's almost very similar to sort of our temperatures. So that time of year should it's be great time to go, 22, isn't it? 23, so it shouldn't be too hot. Yeah, because you're actually, yeah, you're going to be there the first week in July. Aren't yeah, you? yeah so course. it should be really, really nice. Right, so we've flown to Stockholm. So this is a nice one. From here, we're going to fly you over, and you've got an overnight in Stockholm here uh, at the start. And I think you've also got an overnight at the end, which is great. So you've got plenty of time. Now, what I would say is when you're sailing in and out of Stockholm, the, the sailing is beautiful through the islands there. Lots of stuff to see. Go into the centre, wander around uh, Stockholm, the view, Hanseatic style buildings. Two of the big attractions to go and see is the Vasa Museum, which is the ship. It was a 16th century ship that sailed out the harbour. They cracked the bottle, it sailed out and, and sunk straight away. So that actually sunk in the harbour. They've actually restored that. They've got the museum there now. You can go and see the ship beautifully restored. And when you go downstairs to the bottom, make sure you go downstairs to the bottom level, they've actually got the bodies in there, all the skeletons. Really? And what they've done is they've recreated the faces to what they would actually look like. Very, very interesting. If you don't think that's sombre enough, then go next door and cheer yourself up and go to the ABBA Museum. Yay. ABBA, famous for Stockholm, and when you go there. But if you're going to do the, the ABBA Museum, please make sure you book a time slot because it gets that, that yeah, busy right. there. So please do that. Then we go on to Helsinki, capital of Finland. And again, another beautiful sailing in and out of this port of call. Now, this is your sort of pre-cruise before getting into St. Petersburg. So what I probably would say here, make your way in. Shuttle buses can take you into the centre there. You've got the Rock Church. You've got the fish market there. Now... Me and my wife, when we first got together, we went into Helsinki and we bought, I bought um, a bag of chips and the lady was laughing at me when I bought the bag of chips and I had no idea why. Walked across, didn't realise all the seagulls had the same idea. Oh, I had it and seriously? I just got swamped with seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> chips went flying. She said it happens to every tourist every day. It's hilarious. So that's my recollection of Helsinki. <laughs> then we go into St. Petersburg, the highlight of the ports of call. Again, St. Petersburg is a place to go and see. There is so much to do here. And again, as tours manager, it was always my busiest place anywhere in the world to take people out on tour. Now, people ask about visas for Russia. You don't need a visa for Russia if you're on a tour. So you need to make sure you're either on a tour with a ship or an organised tour. You'll need that when you go through the immigration. But again, places to go and see here are Catherine's Palace, Peterhof Palace, Church of the Silt, Spillblood and the Hermitage. And over two days, all the tours would be different sort of packages on there. And of course, in the evening, you can go to the folkloric show or the ballet. If you've got money to spend on tours, you'll spend it in St. Petersburg. Spend that money there, and whatever you've got left, spend it in the other I ports of call. I would love to see the ballet. It's great. Yeah. yeah, I mean, my wife took me three times, and men in tights, it just brought back bad memories. Um, <laughs> and then from and there, then Tallinn, isn't yeah, it? then we move on from there into Estonia, Tallinn. And again, a beautiful old city there. Shuttle buses take you into the centre there. It's very strange when you go into the centre of Tallinn, you've got to the left, the modern side of it. And then most people spend their time in the old part, around the old square. The, the locals dress up in all the traditional costumes. You make the way through the fortified uh, fence area there and then just wander around the square. Nice bars and restaurants, really, really good atmosphere. And it's quite a nice, relaxing port of call after the, uh, the hecticness of St. Petersburg. And then from there, back into Stockholm, you've got another night overnight on board. So again, if you haven't managed to do everything there, it's just nice to go and wander around. And as I said, that sailing is beautiful. Um, 
uh, an amazing deal. And just want to mention the, the drinks package. Now that's that's alcoholic drinks. Yeah, so that's drinks with drinks with your meals, so your lunch and dinner. They haven't mentioned breakfast, so <laughs> I don't know how that works. But it's with lunch and dinner. Um, and then I think what you can do is also upgrade if you wanted to to the full all inclusive. And you've got money and to guys, do that as well. Take yeah, it to yeah. And as I said, they're going to be up to five hundred uh, pounds per cent, depending on the cabin that you go for. But that is a lot of extras to get there. Um, you open nights on board, as we mentioned, St. Petersburg and Stockholm. Return flights based on London Gatwick. Great flights for Norwegian Air as well, including 20 kilos of checked luggage there. And we have got Edinburgh flights available tonight from just £49 per person. Brilliant price tonight. So we don't often have costs on the show, but when we do, you know it's going to be a fantastic deal. And so prices there starting... Uh, really low for peak season, actually. Yeah. And people, you know, that's a nice the time. July year. dates are really yeah. good. It's a lovely time of year to go because I say it's going to be hot, yeah. but it's not going to be too bad. And again, especially when you go around St. Petersburg, none of those places have air conditioning, so it's a nice and time to go. If you're going to take your holidays in July, I'd snap up that 21st of July straight away, actually. Really good deal. Yeah, really good deal. Um, now, oh, oh, that hold's going a lot tonight. Got, someone's got the button there tonight. Yeah, haven't they? <laughs> Am um, I doing this one? What's, yeah, go on. You, what, oh, this is a great one. Yeah, this is a really good deal. Now, this is a Seven Night Fjords and Summer Solstice with James Cosmo. Now, James Cosmo is the gentleman out of Games of Thrones. Yes. We Googled him earlier. We know exactly who he is. He looks quite scary. That's why we haven't got a picture of him. <laughs> but again, this is a last minute deal on here on the Sapphire Princess, which is a great princess ship. Going out on the 6th of June, ID on this is 129457. Now, this gentleman was in Braveheart and Games of Thrones. You'll recognise him when you see the pictures. Under £98 per person. It's a no fly cruise from Southampton. Hampton. And if you want to go up, this is a great time to go up into the fjords. You've got Stavanger, Olden, Hellasil, and Geiranga, which is the most visited place in Norway, and then back into Bergen, and then back to Southampton. That is really good. So that's I, a really nice one. I actually cruised around the fjords with Princess a couple of years ago and had the most incredible time. So, yeah. And that is a great price. That's far less than I paid. Yeah, yeah, for that time of year as well. Um, now, we have got a very special river cruise coming up next with Saga, haven't we? This is something a little bit different, so I am it going to refer is. to notes on this one today because, as I say, it's not something we normally do on here. But this is on a Saga river cruise. This is on a, a ship called the Livingston on here. Now, again, Egypt people, as I said, I know people that love it. Other people say, oh, don't want to go back to Egypt. We've seen it. I, I loved when I went to Egypt. I thought it was so interesting. If you're into your history and your culture, you really want to do this. And this takes in everything that you need to see. So let me just go through what's included on here. You've got seven nights in a hotel, five at the start, two at the end, and seven nights on board the ship. 41 meals, including 14 breakfasts, 13 lunch, 14 dinners. You've got uh, the Radisson Blue Resort that you're staying at for the uh, duration of your holiday. You've got wine and soft drinks with lunch and dinner. A free bar open 11 hours a day on board the ship itself. A free bar on the ship? Free bar on the ship. Lovely. Now also included on this, you've got with Saga the optional travel insurance. You've got return flights and transfers. You've got a Saga tour manager, because your tours are included. You've got uh, a welcome drinks reception, portage to all hotels and on board the ship. And again, your visas are included in this one, so you don't have to worry about this. Excursions include the Valley of the Kings and Tutankhamun's tomb. You've also got the Temple of Philae. You've got a trip to the Aswan High Dam. They're all included. And again, on board the ship as well, you'll have bathrobes, slippers, fruit and water on arrival, tea and coffee making facilities. Of course, we're Brits. Um, but as I said, if you want to see Egypt, you want a bit of relaxation and then full on tours, this is definitely and, the opportunity and I think, here. And it's fair to say, if you are a bit you know, nervous at all about cruising, I wouldn't no. want to go and do Egypt myself and think I'll travel around myself. No, I wouldn't. I would want to go with a package and, and know that it's all done. And also, I wouldn't want to choose a, a company where I didn't know the ship, I didn't know the brand. No. You know, Saga, you know you're yeah. going to the best hands. And it, again, it, 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 it's for the over 50s as well, so it's geared towards that. I look so, you're looking at me there, Glenn. Well, another, another year, isn't it? Actually, I can go with you, innit? Because uh, you even, could be no, 50 and uh, you could take an under 40. Eight months. Yeah. So we could go together. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I can <laughs> book it for next year. <laughs> so, but I think what's so good about the ships, again, if you've been on their ocean cruises as well, their food is second to none and it always gets amazing, yeah. amazing reviews. And the ship is stunning. It is stunning. Oh, it is stunning on there. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to fly over to uh, Hagada and that's where you're going to be taken to the Radisson Blue Resort and that's where you're going to have your five night start, uh, stay in Kassar. Again, you've got the, um, the drinks on that one as well. And from that time, when you're there for the four or five days, you can just chill out, relax and take it easy because you are going to be very very busy when you're actually on the ship as well but again you can also take trips over to the the mosque and the italian church and the famous fortress um beautiful chance to go over there uh, and then you're going to be on the stunning living stone for seven nights and she is the most amazing ship we were looking at pictures she is so modern contemporary fresh 
Uh, wonderful outside space. But she's it's also nice. based over there as well, so it's geared for that market as well. Yes. So again, very relaxing, very plush. And you know, really Egypt, plush. Egypt can be quite dawny, sandy, and you know, you go out there. Okay. But once you go and come back to the ship as well, you've got this oasis. Oh. Uh, and you're traveling along the Nile, you've got great views. You can just sit in that pool and take in the views. That's the standard cabin. Wow. That is the standard cabin wow. on there. I mean, look, when you look at the price and the ship and the expense, honestly, we think this one is incredible. It is. Worry. And as I said, it's, yeah. it's something to tick off your list and say, yep, I've done that. But again, with this one, you've got plenty included on this one. So we'll start having a look at the destinations on that one. Then we're going to start going to Luxor. Now, again, I'm not an expert on Egypt and I probably will pronounce things wrong and I do apologise. But I'll just go through so a few I'll of them. You, Glenn, don't yeah, worry. of course you will. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> but again, with this one, of course, you've got your breakfast, lunch, and dinners included throughout on this one. Now, including on this one, you go to the temple of Karnak and Luxor and again these temples are a testament to the creator's wealth and imagination and boast extraordinary buildings which you'll get to see there now what they have said is whenever you go on these trips as well make sure you take plenty of water because the heat and also good footwear trainers yeah. something you feel comfortable with because it's going to be quite uneven when you're walking around you've also got optional ex excursions on there the horse-drawn carriage which you can add on if you wanted to then we go on to Edfu now again this is on the west banks and this is where you can visit the tombs of the valley of the kings and Tutankhamun's tomb and again plenty of other things to see while you're here but that's one of the main highlights to go and see while you're there so very very interesting as I said if you're into this culture you're into the history there you're going to see as much as you can and of course these are guided tours the guides are going to be with you the whole time and you've just got that little bit of security knowing they're with you the whole time then we go from Edfu on to Kom Ombo to Aswan uh, and from Aswan, that's where you're uh, going to get a chance to go and see, again, more spectacular temples. You're going to be templed out. And you are overnight on, on board there, aren't you? You are overnight on there as well. And again, of course, you've got plenty of other things to see. And in Aswan, when you get to Aswan, you're actually going to go to the High Dam. And then you're going to travel by boat over to Aklia. Aklia Island, I apologise, and the uh, one of the temples again was relocated, and again some free time included on that one. From Aswan as well, you're going to spend a relaxing day at leisure, you can join optional visits to the Temple of Ramesses II, and again plenty of other sites to see there while you're there. So with these, the tours are included, but if you feel that you've done enough, you can just stay on the boat, relax, sit in that pool, have a drink, take it easy, and as I said, you're going to see as much of Egypt as you possibly can. Um, I, it's, it is fantastic, isn't it? And, um, then, and then once you've done that, you're then going to have another two night stay back in Quasar before obviously heading them back to uh, to the UK on that one. Um, amazing value. So let's just remind you of what's included. I actually do fancy that one. I, I think know. it's very, very different. Yeah. And as I said, if it ticks the boxes and you want to see Egypt, this is one of the best ways of doing it. So you've got that five to seven night hotel stay, a seven night cruise. And we cannot emphasize enough the Livingstone is the most incredible ship. She's beautiful. She's opulent. She has so many facilities. Um, and all of your selected drinks with lunch and dinner are included, of course. Um, side insurance is available as an optional extra there. And we forgot to mention, we've got big news on the single price. We have got, and these will go, singles starting from 1479. So pro promise me all our, our, our um, solo passengers that you will book that tonight. The call centre opens at 10.30, Glenn, yeah? 10.30 on that one. And the other thing I just They will go to... quickly, the singles, It will they? go quickly, yeah, because what they do, they'll only put a couple of cabins for each sailing. Once they go, they go. Yeah. And that 1479, I'm not sure what the date is, but again, the guys can advise. The other thing to remind people is we also can do flights from Gatwick and Manchester. Yes, we can, can't okay? we? So uh, we can do it both Yeah, but honestly, solo passengers, please call tonight if you possibly can. Uh, Price-wise, um, we've already had quite a few sellouts on this one, actually. It's been proving really popular. But uh, we have got uh, main deck cabins, upper deck, and junior suites. The main deck are beautiful. That's what we saw. That's right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And again, with the river cruise, it's all to do with height. The higher you are, that's why they class the cabins. They've all got wonderful better. views. They've always got great views. Right, what next? We like that one, don't we? Uh, yeah. Mm. I like bringing different things. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> uh, right, what's next? MSC, isn't it? MSC, we're yes. at MSC now, yep. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, but this is Ooh, a little bit different. It's no, not just an MSC cruise. Yeah. This is part. This is an, a seven-day cruise, which is going to be great anyway. And then just to, just to add it on, we've stuck it with three days in Nice to go and see the Grand Prix in Monaco. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's first of all just talk you through life on board with MSC. Um, again, when we talk to passengers, everyone 
comments on the opulence of the yeah. ships. They're, they're incredibly beautiful, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and I, I, I think in a few years' time they could be one of the biggest cruise companies in the world. They're big yeah, they're now great. anyway, but, they are, but they're bringing out new ships all the time, and they're taking it to the next level. Again, they're, they're trying to push the boundaries. They brought out uh, the new ships, so they bought uh, Merviglia last year, this one this year, and they are pushing the boundaries. Very, very modern, very opulent. Again, whenever they're based out in Italy, they are more of a European feel on there. We're, we're, uh, Magnifica at the moment is sailing out of Southampton, so that's gone very British. But when you're sailing out of Italy, you're going to have the Italian cuisine, your pizza, the pastas. They tend to dine a little bit later there. The entertainment is geared more to a European basis. But you can see the ships there. They cater for everyone from young and old, depending on what you want to do on there. And what's so nice about this particular package, if you are uh, a Formula One and you do like the racing, but you've never gone to the... We were talking about it earlier. I think the Monaco Grand Prix is the most famous Grand Prix in the world. And I think if you speak to most racing drivers, they wanted to win one, it would probably be the Monaco. Uh, yeah. British if you're British, but, you know, I do say the Monaco. But nice seven-day cruise, and then you go into the Grand Prix itself. Oh. Well, uh, let's let's show you uh, some of the great ports because we're going to fly from London Heathrow uh, yeah. over to Marseille. Over to Marseille. It will probably be London flights because that is to get into Marseille yeah. is probably going to be the one on there for you. And then you're going to then embark the Divina and then start your cruise. So from there you're going to head round to Genoa. Genoa has got some nice sights going. So you've got the huge aquarium there, but I would recommend a trip over to there, Portofino. It is beautiful. That's the Italian Riviera, pastel coloured buildings there. Again, you've got the private yachts. Now you've got to remember this time of year is probably there their most famous time because they've not only got the Grand Prix the week before they've got the Cannes Film yeah. Festival so the whole right. of this area the France Riviera the Italian Riviera is going to be buzzing and that's where the rich and famous are um, again just sit back relax and take in and look at the beautiful people from there we go into Chivi Civita Vecchia is the gateway then to of course get into Rome we talk about Rome a lot you're about an hour and a half from Rome you can go in by the train you can take the, the Rome on your own tour our concierge team can do that for you but again go and see the sites the Vatican the Colosseum the Trevi Fountain uh, the Pantheon whatever you want to see but one of the great ports of call in and actually Europe. you can get to see a lot in a day can't you? you can and what we tend to say with Rome you're not going to see it all in one day but you go there and you say right I'll come back you know and do a weekend or a longer weekend there that's and, what a lot of people do I'll book another cruise book another um, cruise then you go into Palermo, Palermo and Sicily next. now be careful this this is the home of the Mafia so don't annoy the locals but again with this one you've got the Plaza of Normandy you've got the cathedral area beautiful waters there that time of year as well should be quite nice if you do want to go for a swim but again you could just walk around in Palermo but of course as I said to you before famous for the mafia just watch out who you annoy then down into Sardinia the island of Cagliari uh, the Sardinia itself beautiful island many of you may not have been there before this is why this cruise is so nice it's taking you to slightly different places than you may have been to great beaches along this part of the world sailing vessels all the way along but again actually in the center of town is just nice to wander meander do a bit of shopping have a cappuccino and take in the views then down into Palma, Mallorca, one of my favourite destinations. Again, I would recommend a trip down into the Lonca area in Palma, which is about half an hour's walk from where the, uh, the ship docks. That's the Gothic-style cathedral in the centre of Palma. But again, maybe trip, take a trip over to Soyer, up into the mountains there, into Val de Mossa. There's plenty to see. It's where Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones live. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. Then moving down into Valencia, you've got the City of Arts and the Science Museum, which is a, a stunning uh, museum they have there, very, very modern. You've got the Bio Park, you've got the Central Market. But again, from the images you can see there, again, a nice chance to walk around and just wander around the city and, and, and get lost for the day. Then from there down into Marseille, that's where you're going to disembark. And from there, we're going to transfer you to Nice. And this is where this whole area is going to be bouncing because it's Grand Prix week. Now, I was fortunate enough a few years ago, I didn't go to the Grand Prix. I went to the week before when they do the old car. Oh, yeah, you're telling me Every this, couple yeah. of years, they race old cars, so 70s Ferraris, 80s, um, and, that was, and that was all set up for the Grand Prix the following week. And even that, when we were there, is phenomenal, because I've walked around Monaco on the track before, but of course, it's all going to be geared up, and you get a chance to go to the Grand Prix itself. As I said, I still think it's the greatest Grand Prix. Now, we've included standard tickets on here. You've got a chance to upgrade your tickets if you can, but I'll be honest, where you, where you are in Monaco, you're not going to see every bear of the track. That's the way it's designed, so maybe stick with that. But we can also upgrade if you want to go to the practice day as well yes. and you can add on like the extra day if you wanted to but if not included on this is the main race day and you know to tell your friends yeah we're off to the Monaco Grand Prix I mean what a finish the, what a finish trip. so seven day cruise and then you've got that on top of it uh, and then of course uh, you're transferred to the airport and flown back to the UK so this is what's included um, so we are going to give you uh, general admission uh, race day tickets you can upgrade your wish, but they are great tickets aren't they're good they? tickets yeah um, and uh, that's a hosted three-night hotel stay in Nice and escorted. So the transfer. guy will have actually staff out there. 
Great. to assist you in the hotel, transfer you to and from the uh, the track and stuff like so that. So you don't have to worry about anything from no. this one. Uh, seven nights on board the fantastic MSC Davina and your return flights from London Heathrow on that one. Um, yeah, I think that's fabulous. Yep. And if we sell enough of them tonight, they said I might be able to go and escort you. <laughs> Me and you could do that. That'd be great. Uh, oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bookings are really good on that one. Take might see us too. Um, now, our final... Oh, no, no. We, hang on. We've got one little extra one here, one which extra. is a price reduction. Now, I mentioned Magnifica. Magnifica's been sailing out of Southampton all year. It's been doing unbelievably well. Um, but we have got a deal on here, 30th of July. It's 7 99 for the inside on that. Um, it's a 10-night cruise, Norway, France and Germany. ID 129206. Now, this has got just a £100 deposit. The thing that flashed up for me and you, £18 per person, all-inclusive drinks package. Yeah. That's breakfast covered. It's a no-fly from Southampton, and this one's going to go to nice ports of call, Paris La Havre, Stavanger, Bergen, Oldham, Allison, Hamburg, and Southampton. Um, and again, if you know cruise pricing, to get that on the 30th of July, yeah. peak season. Now, I will incredible. say to you, and I, the guys can check for you, but I think it's only going to be two births. So if you've got the families, I know that the three and four births have more or less sold out because it's been right, selling yeah. really well. So I think it's only going to be sort of for two adults. And if you've got the kids, I think it's going to be too late now. But always check with the guys. They can let you know. But what they've done with Magnifica is they brought an English cruise director or British cruise director on. They've put tea and coffee making facilities in. They've tried to make it a bit more British because it's sailing out of Southampton. So it will have that, that British feel. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I presume a mostly British clientele. Mostly on there from, yeah, as I yeah. said to you before, when you're out of Genoa, a lot of it will be Europeans on there. This will be mainly British. Uh, now, our final cruise. Unless that horn goes again, who knows? I'll uh, stick another three or four in, we can clear it, we've got 15 minutes. <laughs> um, but um, 10 years ago, I took my first cruise and it was with Royal Caribbean. And I never looked back. It was oh, well, we know that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was, I was nearly 40 when if I If we could first... actually broadcast a show from a ship, you'd be in the element. Oh, you could just it. sail around. I'd love it. There's an idea for the future. There you go. Uh, but the uh, Royal Caribbean, great reputation, wonderful ships, and so much to do. So let's give you a little taster right now. And this is a, we're, you're going to be on the Explore of the Seas, but this is the sister ship, the Voyager. Yeah, so it's a sister ship, so you'll see what it looks like on there anyway. But what's great is it's going to be basing itself out of Southampton for, from next year anyway. And again, it's got so many facilities. You've got, they, again, they, they take it to the next level. You've got roller skating, you've got the rock ice climbing skating, wall, so. ice skating. Yeah, you've got the, the, the golf on there, you've got the spas. What, it's got everything that a normal ship would have, plus a bit more. And what's so good, it's almost what we call multi-generational cruising. Yes, it I agree. Cases for uh, adults that haven't got children, families, the older clientele, younger clientele. The food on there is exceptional. Johnny Rockets is famous on the yeah, Royal Caribbean yeah. ships. They're, they're hamburgers. And uh, again, what's good, as I said, you've got the, the kids' club, which my daughter Brooke would love being in there. Um, but there's so many facilities on board. I don't think you could ever say you'll get bored in a Royal Caribbean ship. I took ship. a niece and nephew there uh, with Royal Caribbean. Um, it was my nephew's 15th birthday. And you're right, you know, there was something to do for everybody. Yeah. You don't have to do the rock climbing wall. You don't no. have to go ice skating. But there's a lot of choice of things but to it's, do. But it's like things with Royal Promenade when you walk down there. Oh, and you, you yeah, just can't believe that. you're on a ship. It's like a floating shopping centre. And their, um, their shows are incredible. They are West End style shows. Yeah. And again, you can go there. They'll also have activities throughout the ship as well. So we used to go and watch the show. My, my wife loves all the shows anyway. And then from there, we used to then go and watch sort of extra entertainment. But I, 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 don't, I defy anyone to be bored in a Royal yeah, Caribbean ship. I agree. Um, and although I never went ice skating, uh, well, I tried, it was dreadful, but... I'd love um, to see it. Ice... I bet you'd be like Bambi on ice. Oh, it was dreadful, I really was. <laughs> but the ice shows were spectacular. Oh, they're great, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and uh, now, looking at the date, you know when... Hopefully we'll have a great summer, but you know when it gets towards the end of October and the clocks change and the, it starts getting really freezing and miserable and we all start getting depressed again, you're going to be getting some lovely winter sun. So, let's see... Some of the great places we'll be visiting. And I love this because it's just going to get warmer and warmer, isn't it? Is. it? Yeah, so you're heading down to the Canaries on this one. So, again, from Southampton, you've got a chance there to go from the holiday in Winchester if you wanted to yes. do that pre night stay. And you think that's 11 nights, that what you pay for parking there, that's even better value. So, that's good. Two days at sea, just a nice chance to sort of bed yourself in with the ship. And then from there, there we go to where I always say Caribbean meets Europe, and that's in Madeira, the home of the footballer Cristiano Ronaldo. And again, from there, you've got the beautiful places, do the cable car, the toboggan, go and have tea at Reeds, take one of the trips out, a beautiful volcanic island, and it is stunning. And again, when you're there, you'll see how hilly it is 
great views and there's some really, really good restaurants there. But you can see the images there. Madeira is a great, great port of call. Then we go into Tenerife, into the north of the island. Many of the Brits go into the south on their holiday. We're going into Santa Cruz and Porta de la Cruz there. But again, if you want to go down to the centre to Mount Tady, you can go and do some dolphin watching, take one of the catamarans out. But you know the weather's going to be good from there. From there, we move on to Gran Canaria. Again, another one of the big ports of call for the Brits in the Canaries. And again, Mas Palomas, um, played it, um, uh, Puerto Rico. Great ports of call and places to go and visit there, but maybe try and ride on one of the camels in Mas Palomas. Then we go into the windy uh, Isle of Lanzarote, famous again for its uh, windsurfing. They do a lot of that in this part of the world. You've got the volcanic islands there. Again, the, the um, uh, camels are quite prevalent there. And again, you can take a ride on one of those if you fancy doing I, that. I gave that a miss, actually. Uh, Oh yeah, <laughs> I can imagine you're on a camel. And then a chill out day and then into Vigo. Vigo is a popular destination on the way back just to break it up. And again, from there, walk across good seafood restaurants off there. We always used to go and have seafood there, sit back, relax, glass of wine and just sample up. And it's still going to be nice weather before heading back yeah, into the UK. And then into La Coruna. We spoke about La Coruna earlier, earlier. Santiago de Compostela, wander around there. So you can do that. The other thing I wanted to let people know about as well, we, are, we have got a new thing with, with Planet Cruise now that We've got a new payment system now that you can actually pay for your cruise now and then set it up online and pay over payments. Yeah, great. So, so you don't have to pay a deposit now and then a big bill. You can actually set it up, go online when you book your cruise now. And this is not going until October, so you can set up quite a few payments there and yeah, just pay off a junk and a junk and a junk. Great and idea. then you haven't got that big bill and, at the end. And will the team in the call centre just talk to yeah, you Yeah, so that? basically yeah. it's very simple. They'll explain it anyway, but when you book, you'll get your login details. You can set up how you want to do payments on there and literally spread it over sort of four, five, six payments. Brilliant. Um, uh, God, loads of... Wonderful memories are just coming back when looking at this year. Fabulous. Uh, let's just quickly remind you, I know we are nearly out of time, of everything that's included. Now, you will get a lot of money, potentially, on this one, up to $500 on board spend, depending on, uh, obviously, which cabin you book. Uh, great price for a family of four. That starts at 2989 and you only need a deposit from £150 per person. And as Glenn said, you know, generally speaking, any of our cruises from Southampton, you can always stay... Uh, Pre-cruise in the Holiday Inn in Winchester uh, from just £95 per person. You get breakfast, parking and your port transfers as well. Now, what we'd love to do, because um, we've had 10 cruises, is just to do uh, a, a, quick recap. a quick recap. <laughs> Take a big breath. Yeah. Who wants to start? You start. Go okay. On. <laughs> well, we started off with this wonderful deal with P and O on board the Britannia, of course. Um, 595 for this one, I thought it was amazing value. Uh, last minute deal for the 20th of May this year, and you've got a seven night cruise. It works out, and this is their, you know, this is their newest ship, which is beautiful, Britannia, under 86 pounds per person per night. The balcony started at just six, it was 645, wasn't yeah. it, the balcony? And just eight pounds per person per night. And uh, so the ID number for that one, we're just coming round now, right now, there it is, uh, 125124. And remember, if you're booked up for this year, you can do next year's one, it's only 20 quid extra. Yes, very so good. that's a good one to do. Then we went on to that great deal with Azamara. As I said to you before, don't go out on the 19th, go on the 18th, give yourself an extra day in Singapore. This is five nights stay in Bali. We've priced it with one night in Singapore, I'd advise going for two. Overnights in Bangkok, remember you're 25 minutes from Bangkok and Ho Chi Minh overnights. You can upgrade to VIP business class flights and chauffeur home pickup. 10 night cruise on the Azamar request, drinks and tips included. And return flights from London, but I'll be honest, the guys can look at Manchester, Birmingham, if we're looking at Emirates, Glasgow probably as well, Newcastle. So it might be a small supplement, but again, you can fly out there. And that's going out, as we've put it there, the 19th of November, 2499. 165843 is the ID. And if you like me, you've done the big ships, and I still love the big ships, I'll still obviously cruise on them, but if you're looking for more of a boutique, smaller yep. ship experience, they are incredible what they do, and their feedback is off the scale, honestly. Now, oh, Costa was next. Great to have Costa back, actually. And I'm very pleased to see that they've included the mealtime drinks package. Um, now, you will get up to £500 on board spend as well. It's, uh, you know, again, a lot of money. Um, overnights in St. Uh, Petersburg and Stockholm as well. Return flights uh, from London Gatwick, and they are with Norwegian Air, so great flights as well. But we have got some Edinburgh flights available from just £49 per person supplement there. ID number 156631. Then we go off to Egypt, and this is again a little bit different. We've not done this before. This is a 14 nights Nile to the Red Sea, and this lead date is on the 15th of January. Remember, we've got multiple dates. 177894 is the ID. You're going to have a seven night hotel at start and end of the holiday, so five at the start, two at the end. 
seven night cruise on board the beautiful Livingston, including selected drinks, lunch and dinner. But I think we've actually found out that's uh, a free bar on there anyway. Yeah, that's we've yeah. Found that anyway. Optional Saga Insurance available. And again, single special on that one. Not sure the exact date. Phone the guys for that 1479. Return flights on Gatwick and Manchester, plus all your overseas. And I think if you want to see Egypt, you want to feel a bit secure and go with people, that's a great one to do. Yeah, I really like the look of that one. And I can do it, Glenn. <laughs> uh, now, there we had MSC, a uh, great cruise, but to see the Grand Prix as well, um, I think it's going to be an incredible journey, this one, isn't it? So you've got your, also your seven night cruise, but a three night hotel stay, and that is hosted, so Planet Cruise staff will be there, Glenn may be there, if he's lucky, oh, um, and you'll get all of your transfers included as well on that one, ID number 177403. Okay, then moving on to our last feature deal on there, that was Royal Caribbean, that was on uh, Explore the Seas, that's on the 25th of October 2019, so pay now, set up that payment and uh, pay over uh, five or six different payments, up to $500 on board, spend family of four for 2989, deposits just 150 per person on that one, add the one night stay at the Winchester on there and the ID is 173302 and starting from 949 per person. And then we had um, some uh, little cheeky ones, didn't we? So, these are the horn ones. <laughs> so, I'm going to break that horn. <laughs> a pound deposit on this one, and it's the 12 night Canary Islands and Madeira from Southampton. Um, brilliant deal from just 655. What did that work out per oh, night? Oh, it's about 60 quid. Can I just say with that one, we've offered things like that in the past, okay, and the prices will literally go up on day by day. Yeah, and yeah. We've had that before because. They'll, they'll get rid of the inside cabins for that price and it will go up. And do you know what? You'd have a tan for Christmas as I well. And remember, you've got on board spend and parking or parking with that one. Oh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Now, this is the Azamara one. This is going out on the 3rd of August. This is ID 179405. Eight night Barcelona, Ibiza, Rivieras, and Tuscany on this one. The great Azamara, Lee was talking about it before. You've got overnights, uh, one night stay in Barcelona, overnights in Ibiza, drinks tips included, and flights and a transfers. Then we had, I mean, these are just so good. Uh, just reducing price, last minute deal, Fjords with Princess, starting at 685 on that one. So, um, yeah. Nice it's one, that one. Good as it gets, isn't yep. it, that one? And then what was the, uh, the last one? MSC, wasn't it? MSC, that was on the Magnifica, ID 129206, 30th of July 2018. And again, you can upgrade the drinks package, £18 per person per night. And again, uh, that's a really good one. Uh, and don't forget that competition. Go to the Planet Cruise website. You find it straight away there. And uh, if you enter, you can be a chance to win that fantastic cruise, isn't it? You are. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, we have an out of time. Um, I want to say hello, by the way, to Azella, who uh, from North Luffnan, who I told to watch tonight. You better be watching. She's done three <laughs> cruises, but never seen the show. Oh, isn't she? No. Oh. God, there's people still in the country who haven't seen us. <laughs> Glenn, that was fantastic. What? I'm off to Canada. Oh, yeah, you are, aren't you? I'm going on the Rocky. Yeah, next week. Not that I'm jealous. When are you back? Uh, a couple of weeks' time. All right, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. I'm I'll so jealous. Pictures. Can you believe that? Um, if you've never booked a cruise, get on the phone lines, get on the you website. Guys, will be there till 10.30 tonight. Yeah, 10.30 tonight, first thing tomorrow. And I'll see you next Tuesday Cheers, at 8. Hi everyone, thanks very much for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe below and remember to click the bell to get those notifications turned on. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it will be really, really informative. Or you can click on the Planet logo to the left and go to our website for some really fantastic goods. Thanks for watching.